Spoiler alert. So trusted you. I thought I could too. So why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? Hi guys, how are you all? It's me again and I welcome you to my first video on a gaming theory. So without much further ado, let's begin. So from the title, you would have guessed the game I'll be covering today is Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And I propose that its storyline is completely broken. Now, if you have played Modern Warfare 3, then you must be familiar with this scene from the mission Blood Brothers, known as Yuri's Past. I was young and patriotic when I first met Vladimir Makarov. Yuri, wake up. The guy for the one you to miss this. This deal will generate millions for our cause. Money can buy many things, even power. The road to our future begins here, my friend. This flashback of Yuri includes a mission from the original Modern Warfare known as One Shot One Kill, in which we as Lieutenant Price along with Captain Maximilian have to snipe down Zakai from atop a hotel. Lieutenant Price, the meeting is underway. Enemy transport sight him entering the target area. Now, as you saw this footage from the original Modern Warfare, you would have noticed that the car in which Makarov and Yuri should have been is empty. However, in the remastered version of the game, the car isn't empty and we can see Makarov and Yuri in the car. Okay, I think I see him. Wait for my mark. And since we can see Makarov, we can also kill him. Now, herein lies the paradox about which I'll be talking in this video. I have seen a lot of people talking about this on YouTube but they did not get the point. Also since Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is in the news so I'll be covering this topic now. Actually I would have done so before but I had exams to deal with. The thing is, if Makarov dies in that mission, that is even before the events of first Modern Warfare takes place then the entire modern warfare series is not possible as Makarov is the one who saves Zakaev that day. Zakaev never forgot what we did for him that day. Our reward was power. If Makarov is not there, Zakaev is also not saved. And if Zakaev is not alive, then forget Modern Warfare 2 and 3 Remastered. Modern Warfare Remastered is itself rubbish, as Zakaev is the main antagonist of the first Modern Warfare. Also, now due to Zakaev and Makarov being dead, the events of Modern Warfare storyline should not take place as expected. Now, the main antagonist of the first Modern Warfare will be someone else, as Zakaev is already dead. Also, the nuke from the mission Shock and Awe will not go off as there will be no one to detonate it since Makarov already died. Since Makarov is already dead, thus the betrayal of General Shepard doesn't take place. 
also the events of the mission no russian that take place at the zakaev international airport are an impossibility because makarov already died uh, 15 years ago before the events of call of duty 4 take place in short everything that modern warfare series includes will not be there modern warfare storyline will completely be different and it will all be rubbish this proves that modern warfare remastered is totally rubbish let me simplify that for you okay so now as you can see here we have one shot one kill which takes place 15 years before the events of modern warfare 1 itself takes place then we have modern warfare 2 which happens as the result of modern warfare 1 and which ultimately leads to modern warfare 3 in which a guy captain price kills macroff by stranding him from a roof however in modern warfare remastered during the mission one shot one kill we can kill Makarov there only and since Makarov is dead there is no one to get Zakaev to the hospital uh, due to which he bleeds out uh, and dies uh, now since Makarov is dead Zakaev is also dead Modern Warfare 1 doesn't take place Modern Warfare 2 doesn't take place and ultimately Modern Warfare 3 also doesn't take place however there is a slight possibility that Yuri takes the place of Makarov and acts as the antagonist of the Modern Warfare series but I won't be taking that into account. So that will be all for this video. If you like the video then please press the thumbs up button aiming for 30 likes. Please press it and also if you are new to this channel then please press the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you won't miss any of my videos. For the next time I will upload how can infinity ward tackle this problem as I need to make a different video for that. Thanks a lot for watching have a great day and Peace out.